everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This marks my one year birthday. So Mixed Up Craft is one year old. Um, I look back on my old tutorials, my very first tutorials, and um, I think I've uh, evolved considerably within the first year. So um, yeah, it's been brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. And today I thought I would do a happy birthday card. Now the inspiration for this card has come from my mum and this card that she done for me a few years ago. And it's thanks to my mum that I'm doing this. She encouraged me to do the YouTube channel. She showed me many techniques um, and I have her to thank. So yeah, although I've always been creative and done many crafts, it's my mum that's really kind of pushed me and encouraged me to do the paper crafting more and show you guys. So um, thank you, mum, love you loads. And this is the card she made me and this is the diamond fold card. Um, it's a really, really fun one. So it, it comes all flat like this. And then as you open it up, it's like this and it stands up as well. Really nice, really easy to do, just some clever scoring. Um, so let's crack on and make this one. So today you're going to need, grab all my pieces here. Um, make sure I'm all in there, there we go. So I'm using the Paradise Crush papers um, from First Edition, adore these. They're getting well used, absolutely love it. Um, I've just got some embellishments here because I'm not sure what I'm going to put on yet. I've pre-die cut all my bits and pieces, which again I'll go through you shortly. And all these sizes I will show you in a minute. So first of all, your main card piece here is 12 by 4 inches. So what you want to do is scoring along the 4 inch side, really straightforward. You're going to score at 2, 4, 8 and 10. Okay, so that's just along the long side there. Then get rid of your scoreboard and you want to grab a pencil and a ruler. And basically you will have a two inch rectangle, another two inch rectangle, a big square in the middle and then two other rectangles here. The big square in the middle, you want to mark the halfway point on all four sides. So in this case, it's two inches. So just a little pencil mark there at two inches and then one down the side, one along the top, and one along that side there. So I've got two little pencil marks, okay? Then what you want to do, starting from the left-hand side here, so you've got that first rectangle, that two-inch rectangle here, so ignore that one. Then the top of the next one, so just the top of the score line here, that two-inch score line, pop your ruler down, and you want to make sure that your ruler goes across that pencil mark here, of that diamond shape in this middle square down to the bottom of the diamond shape which is the other side so let me just do a pencil mark and then I can rub this out just to show you so I'll just bring that up there so you can see I've just done a pencil mark all the way across so from the top here down to the bottom middle of that one and again you then go across the other way so now from the top of that square, that rectangle, you're going to go all the way down. Actually, that, I don't think that other pencil mark showed up very well, did it? There we go, that's better. Like so, can you see what I've done there? There we go. So you've got that first rectangle that's completely plain. And then I've got a pencil mark that goes all the way down across and then this one here that goes all the way across. Okay, and then I'm going to do that again on the other two and the other sides there. So that's that one. And again, that one there. So that's what you should have. So you've got these two big crosses and we're now going to score over those crosses. I just wanted to pencil it down, um, draw it in pencil there so you can see what you should have. So you've got two rectangles either side with nothing and then you should have two big crosses that join forming this, you know, you've got your big square there and you've got that diamond in the middle. So now you just want to score all of those score lines. So you can hold your ruler down right the way across from point to point and just score there. And then again, I 
Okay, so those now are all scored. So I'm just going to grab my rubber and just remove those pencil marks. Okay, so now we just need to burnish all of those score lines. So what you want to do is where you've got all these kind of little, well, first of all, actually fold this one up, the outside ones, fold that one up first. And the other outside one, fold that one up. Like so, okay. And then just go and pinch along all those kind of triangle score lines there. And I'm pushing them all down, okay? So, and then with this one here, this score line here, so that one I folded up, and then you've got this one here. If you just push it in on itself, so they're kind of starting to join here at the back, as you do that, you'll be able to just do the rest there. And just pinch that down. So you can see what I've just done there. Okay, and that's going to form that first side there, that edge. Okay, so again, here, just pinch all of these sides down. Okay, and then again, with the two side bits there, just bring them in on themselves, and you will get that nice join. And then you will have this shape. Like so. so really straightforward, it's just like I said, some pencil marks. Make sure you get them lined up I'm a little bit off there, but with my decoration you're not going to notice that, so I'm not too worried. So now talking about the decoration, all these bits and pieces here that I've got. So I've pre-cut for my side pieces here. So these two pieces measure one and three eighths of an inch by three and three quarters. Okay, so two pieces of those are gonna go on the outside pieces here. And then if I open it all up again, you then need three pieces of two and a half inch squared. Okay, one of these pieces you're gonna cut in half. So you can draw a pencil mark across, let me just do it here, across the middle like so, okay. And I'm just going to cut that one out. You can use your trimmer. I'm just doing mine by freehand. Now these two pieces are going to go in these ones here. Okay, so one at that end and one at that end. So that's those pieces. And then you need, with that other piece, you're cutting it into fours. So on the back, you would just... Um, the other two pieces you will have of this two and a half. So three pieces of two and a half inch squared. One you're just cutting in half and then the other two you're cutting into fours. So you just want to do a cross on the back like so. And then again, just cut that out. like so. Oh, I already done the other one there, so you should have eight little triangles and then these will all go in these smaller little ones here. Okay, and you'll have little bits of that yellow border showing around. So that's all of the pieces to dress it. And then for the top, I've just die cut two of these squares that I've got and you want it to, to cover more of the surface area than the actual base itself. So you'll see there, that's why I wasn't worried that if my Folding's a little bit off underneath. You're not gonna see any of it. And this just completely makes it nice and neat. So that will go on top. That's then gonna go on top again. And then I can dress it with my little um, embellishments and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get all those pieces stuck down. Okay, so that's all now stuck down. And it's made it really, really nice and strong as well because I used my um, tacky glue as always. So that's really reinforced it. So now it all folds nice and compact together. And then obviously when it opens up, it will stand up. Like that, there you go, straight. So now I just need to decorate. You can obviously do even more, but I'm just gonna decorate the middle bit here. Now what I've done is I've just picked out some pink and I've got pink card and I've just kind of um, overlapped that yellow sentiment on top of a strip of pink just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna put that probably on some foam. I've done the same with the butterfly. So I've die cut the butterfly in pink and in yellow. So I'm gonna try and do some kind of like little clusters. And then I've also just gone and made these flowers up 
and I've put little, little embellishments in the middle of those and these are going to kind of scatter around as well. So I'm going to stick all that down and um, show you the final result. Okay, so there you have it. I think I might put some Winker Stella over it as well, but I need to find it because I don't know where I've put it just to give it some more sparkle. But I changed the insides of the flowers there just to this like corally red just to pull out the, the ready tones in the flowers there. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So that is my version of this diamond fold card. I've also done an envelope. So this, this card ends up measuring five by five. So obviously it does depend on the size of this top square, because you can see it comes over the, top, the edges here. So that's what you would measure to decide on your envelope size. So you do from the, the, the longest points. It's coming in at four and three quarters and the closest one on the envelope punch board is, would be five. Um, so it's just five by five card, which is eight by one eighth of an inch squared paper and then just score it. And I just put in a little, little embellishment there just to tie it all together. So there you have it, that's my card. So thank you mum for the inspiration. Thank you everybody for my first year on YouTube. It's been an absolute joy. And uh, here's to the next year. Thanks for watching, bye.